We have two shaped 3Ds in the scene. I'm in the starting position and I think I'm going to grab my sphere and I'm going to animate its position X property. So I'm going to set a first initial keyframe on the zero position. As you see, it came in marked up green. I will move time cursor to a five second mark and I'm going to offset this value a little bit further, maybe to something like four. If I reset the playhead now and start my animation, I see that this sphere is moving from its initial state to a five second mark to value of four. Everything that is between the keyframes is marked up orange. You can actually jump between keyframes by holding control and arrow keys. I'm going to move the cursor a little bit further and I'm going to add another value. But this time instead of dragging cursor marker, I will just type in desired time here straight away on the time indicator. You may have noticed that I'm not adding keyframes, but Notch is keyframing the value for me automatically. That is because we have auto key enabled. If you choose to have it disabled, all you have to do is click it off. I prefer to have it on. Let's start the playhead again. Okay, I think I'm gonna animate the box now. I think I want to alter the rotation heading and let's say position Z value. So I'm gonna set the initial keyframes and I'm gonna move to the five second mark. There we go. I mentioned that we can jump in between keyframes, but we cannot see our keyframes right here. This is good time to switch to timeline view. In a timeline view, I see all my keyframes that I laid out. I can alter their timings if I want to. I can mark them up and delete them by simply pressing delete key. If I want to get rid of all of the keyframes of a specific node, all I have to do is hold shift and hover over the keyframe icon here in the properties panel. I'm going to press ctrl Z to bring the keyframes back. I can press ctrl Alt to narrow the view or to expand the view. Easy way of changing timeline and node graph views would be F1 and F2. Notice that notch focuses on a selected node if you press F1 and if you press F2 twice, it actually brings you to the layer view with a specific chosen node highlighted. If we want to refine our animations, we can press on the third panel here, Curve Editor. Here we can pick and choose specific keyframe that we want, and we can change its interpolation. We can change keyframe value straight from this view, and we can even change its timing by holding Alt. If you want to expand or shorten your timeline, right click on a layer name and go for layer settings. Here you have an option to rename the layer and change its timing. Notice my layer became longer by 15 seconds, but the nodes inside of it stayed as long as they were before. If I want nodes to expand to a length of the actual layer, I would come back to the layer, right click on it, and I would go for scale children to parent length option. 